the Archivio Segreto Vaticano, the Vatican Secret Archives, contains at least 1,400 documented medical miracles, including a paralyzed woman who rose and walked after lying next to the corpse of a saint in 1555, a three-year-old boy who died, then came back to his light, came back to life after his mother pleaded to a saint in 1678. A priest in the 13th century who was scheduled to have his foot amputated due to cancer was praying in front of his crucifix and he was instantly cured. His name was Peregrini Laziosi, the patron saint of disease canonized in the Catholic Church. In 1934, Sister Gertrude of the Sisters of Charity in New Orleans had inoperable pancreatic cancer. The nuns prayed for her. She was instantly cured. In 1952, four-year-old Ann O'Neill, dying of lymphatic leukemia, was given her last rites and then carried to the cemetery. And the nuns placed her body on the tomb of Elizabeth Seton, an American saint. A few days later, she was cured. The Pope declared her case a miracle. Muriel Bourne Mullen, a 71-year-old nurse in England with liver cancer, started saying goodbye to life, goodbye to the trees, goodbye to the gentle waving of the leaves, goodbye to her husband of 40 years, goodbye to her children. And then she said a prayer to St. Jude, patron saint of lost causes, and suddenly she was cured. 52-year-old Carol Knutson Madison from Wisconsin went to the Mayo Clinic for a large lump on her neck. The doctors told her she would die and her husband was shocked. He felt like he was floating in outer space and Carol looked at her husband who was weeping, it was a crying mess. And she said, the good Lord doesn't give you more than he knows you can bear. And immediately her tumor shrank on its own and disappeared. Now she says it was prayer. 60 to 70% of people who've had a medical miracle say it was due to prayer. And how they define prayer is creative surrender.